Kevin Durant joining the Warriors is regarded as one of the most controversial moves ever pulled off by an NBA superstar by many experts. When he wasn't able to win rings with the Oklahoma City Thunder, KD decided to join the best team in the NBA and bullied the league for a couple of years. In fact, when he left the dubs back in 2019, most fans were relieved due to the fact that the championship window for more teams finally opened up again. So, if KD once again plays for the Warriors, it will once again ruin the power balance in the NBA. And this time around, fans will never forgive Kevin Durant. Today's video will be about Kevin Durant's potential return to the Warriors. In the rumor mill, there seems to be some belief that Kevin Durant could also head back to the Golden State Warriors. Yes, the same move that made Durant a villain for almost every NBA fan. There are rumors that he is once again linked to the Warriors. While the trade is currently being labeled as extremely unlikely, there are trade packages that could help the Warriors land the former MVP. Kevin Durant is on the verge of moving teams once again, having requested a trade from the Brooklyn Nets and actively looking to join another team for the coming season. While several suitors have been mentioned, there is an interesting rumor going around that KD might end up back where he won his two NBA championships, the Golden State Warriors. And it's quite poetic, considering that it was six years ago on July 4th that Durant made his infamous announcement that he was joining the Golden State Warriors and leaving the Oklahoma City Thunder, where he had spent his entire career till then. The decision was widely criticized, considering that it created what is arguably the most stacked super team the NBA has ever seen. Durant and his OKC team had gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Warriors the season before, nearly beating them in the Western Conference Finals before collapsing and surrendering a 3-1 lead. The Warriors were the winningest team in NBA regular season history the season before he joined them too, winning 73 games behind their elite trio of Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green. While super teams had existed before, perhaps no player of Durant's caliber in their prime had moved to join the direct rivals that had beaten him the season before. His decision changed the NBA in many ways, with it becoming apparent that the culture of expecting superstars to win championships come what may have ensured that stars would end up making moves like these. And what perhaps riled the critics up more than anything is that it worked just as expected. The Warriors won the next two NBA titles, with Durant claiming the Finals MVP in both of those seasons. KD, Curry, and Klay Thompson were simply unstoppable. Durant averaged 25.8 points, over 7 rebounds, and over 5 assists in three seasons with excellent efficiency for Golden State. It is easy to look back at the situation and criticize Durant for making the move, but the pressure on him to win a title at the time was enormous. There are many that will disagree with the team he joined and things like that, but at the end of the day, Durant is a two-time champion and two-time finals MVP, something that no one can take away from him. KD back on the Warriors would be an absolutely incredible sight to behold. After everything that happened in terms of KD leaving Golden State to lead his own team to a title, him coming back to the Warriors after the new team failed is stunning to everyone. The only issue with a possible trade between the two teams is Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins cannot be included in the deal unless Brooklyn moves Ben Simmons as well, as Wiggins and Simmons are both on rookie extensions and Brooklyn cannot acquire another player on that contract after their trade for Simmons in February. The Warriors can't extend Jordan Poole and include him in the trade for similar reasons. This means one of the existing core members will need to be in the trade to make up salary along with Jonathan Kuminga and or Moses Moody. Draft picks on top of this make for a messy package that Golden State will have to conjure up for a 34-year-old KD. The Warriors may be better off without gutting their roster to trade for KD in 2022. In 2016, Durant fell into their lap through free agency. But moving heaven and earth at this point may be a little silly, especially now that many of the Warriors role players like Gary Payton II, Otto Porter Jr., Damian Lee, Nemanja Bjelica have already left the team, reducing the depth of the champions. According to reports, the market for Durant is still taking shape. Nothing is set in stone, but the fact that the Warriors were one of the first teams to be rumored tells a lot about their level of interest. People are already talking about how the Warriors could offer one of the best trade packages. 
Analysts are already speaking their minds on how players like Jordan Poole, James Wiseman, and Jonathan Kuminga aren't worth trading. So, despite most NBA fans wanting to believe KD to the Warriors couldn't possibly happen again, the groundwork is there. But why would KD ever want to go back to Golden State? Does he really want to win another championship that badly? Durant already had the opportunity to win more championships with Golden State when he hit free agency after the 2018 season. Yes, he was injured, but he could have stayed with the Warriors. And then when he, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson all got healthy again, they could have carried on their merry way and won a few more titles. But Durant wanted to prove he could lead a team to a title all on his own. He's consistently criticized the Warriors since leaving, claiming that the Warriors were never a winning team before Durant signed there, despite the Warriors winning a title and 73 games in back-to-back -back years before Durant signed there. There were also several reports that KD was jealous of Steph Curry during his time with the Warriors, citing that Golden State fans would always choose Steph over him. Durant never felt like it was his team. KD has since pushed back against that narrative, claiming it to be erroneous and just the media trying to start something. However, between statements he's made since leaving the Warriors and videos all over the internet of him getting into spats with Draymond Green on the court, it's hard to believe that there isn't at least some truth in these rumors. He's still arguably the greatest pure scorer of all time. However, after Steph and company won another title without Durant, proving that the Warriors don't need Durant as much as he needs them, a move to Golden State would only emphasize the points that Durant had been trying to fight ever since he left the Bay Area. 1. This will always be Steph's team. It doesn't matter if Durant came back to score 35 a game and win the second ever unanimous MVP, the fans and front office will always value Steph over Durant for what Curry was able to do before and after Durant was his teammate. 2. Durant left Golden State to prove he didn't need them. When Durant first came to the Bay Area, there was an argument that the Warriors needed Durant in order to win. They'd just blown a 3-1 lead to LeBron and the Cavs, and perhaps Durant was the missing piece they needed. That argument doesn't work this time. The Warriors just ran through the playoffs without even being forced into a Game 7 situation. Durant's legacy isn't dead, but it certainly wouldn't be helped by a decision to go back to the team that he left in order to prove he didn't need them. I know this time, Durant's move would be due to a trade, so Durant won't have as much a say in his next team as he did in 2016. However, if Durant really didn't want to go to Golden State, he could just threaten a sit-out if he gets traded there. He's got the star power and market to do that, and given the hit that his legacy could take with another move to Golden State, that might be his best course of action. And what is your opinion? Will and should KD come back to the Warriors? How do you see the outcome of his return? I would love to hear what you think, so please let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting NBA stories.